Lesson 5.8, marginal tax calculations. Our objective for this lesson is to be able to use a table of marginal tax rates to calculate the tax owed for a given taxable income. When we talk about marginal tax rates, it's important to understand that in the United States, we have a progressive income tax, which is a system in which people with higher taxable incomes pay at a higher tax rate. So everyone is going to pay a certain tax on the first about $10,000 of income that they make. And then for the next 30,000 or so of taxable income, everyone will pay a slightly higher tax rate. And then for the next 40,000 or so, you'll pay a slightly higher tax rate again. So the more taxable income you have, the higher percentage of your income you're going to pay in taxes. The marginal tax rate is the amount of additional tax paid for every additional dollar earned as income. There's often a misunderstanding about marginal tax rates that if your income rises into a higher tax bracket, that you now have to pay a higher rate on all of your income. And that's not true. For example, if you get a raise and now with that raise, you're now $100 into a higher tax margin. It doesn't mean that you now have to pay a higher rate on all of your income. It just means you have to pay a higher rate on that $100 that's in that higher margin. Our example asks us to calculate the tax owed by Jessica, who is married but filing separately, and had taxable income in the year 2020 of $82,500. So you can see I've reproduced the relevant sections of the table of marginal tax rates up here on the board. You can see I've got the tax rates here and uh, this is, she's married filing separately. So that's the column that I'm going to use. Um, and you can see I've gone just the first three margins here because the last margin goes up to $85,525, which is more than Jessica's taxable um, income. So for this first uh, tax margin, we, we're complete, we're above that. So all of the money uh, that she, the first $9,875 that she made, she's gonna pay 10% tax on that. So um, this is gonna be $9,875. We're gonna multiply that by 0.10. And then she's also above 40,125. So all of the money in this range or in this margin is going to be paid at 12%. So we're gonna take $40,125 minus $9,875. And we're gonna multiply that by 0.12. That's gonna be taxed at 12%. All right, and then finally, we're gonna to add to that. Now notice all of this money isn't gonna be included in her calculation because she only made $82,500. So that's where we're gonna start, $82,500. And we're going to subtract the $40,125. That's how much uh, of her income is in this 22% tax margin. So that's gonna be taxed at 22%, so we're gonna multiply by 0.22. All right, now let's calculate this. So 9,875 times 10% is going to be $987.50. And then um, 40,125, Um, minus 9,875 is $30,250. And we're gonna tax that at 12%. That's gonna be $3,630. And then in this 22% uh, bracket, we've got 82,500 minus $40,125. 
So we've got $42,375 in this 22% tax margin. Um, so we're going to multiply that by 0.22, and we get a tax of $9,322.50. And if we add these all together, uh, 3,630 plus 987.5, we get a total tax of $13,940. That's how much tax Jessica is going to have to pay on her $82,500 in taxable income.